What's your problem, boy? When are you gonna grow up, huh? Fuck you, you old broken down barkeep. There's this kid, he's been uh, working out down in Little Joy's. It's because maybe you want to help me with my training. What's that got to do with me? Are you my priest now, and this is confession? I am a broken down barkeep, but I got more boxing experience in this right fist than your entire body. Now get the hell out of me, apartment. I know you're fast, I know you're strong, and your technique is good. But is there anything in there that helps you with the rings? Don't stop moving. Don't ever stop moving. What are you stopping for? Is that it? Are we done? Answer me, by Jesus, Mary and Joseph. What happened to you? Who are you? And answer me. How about we stop with all the questions? Your world has fallen apart. Your husband's just died, and your lover's just dumped you, and you're craving a coffee mocha. Get us a mocha, will you? Can we try and take it again? Arthur, can we have that mocha? He's so dedicated, but so slow. Your husband's just departed to the great beyond. You're like a, hmm, a dying swan. Flowering, sensuous. Hmm. Brightness, Alas. like like a yellow butterfly. No, no, no. No butterflies, please. Too subtle. I've never seen a dying swan myself. A mocha, sir. Do you want one? No, no, no. I'm trying to make a movie here, and we got 20 minutes to get this wrapped. Just start again. I'm, I'm getting a headache. Oh, Lord Scarlet. Try thinking of an orchard, maybe flowers or something. Tonight, we can talk about you and your Oscar performance. You're an incredible actress. And I'm so pleased that we're working together. Hello, I have a reservation. Name? Rossi, R-O-S-S-I. -S Is there a problem with my reservation? No, but we do have a dress code. Surely someone informed you of our policy? No. Wait here. This is Matt. He's a 36-year-old investment banker with a gift in hedge funds. Try not to spill anything on this. You can leave it at the table when you're done. Welcome to Shea's Horté. What's it gonna take to get me a crab cake? At Shea's Horté, we're trying to maintain a certain level of standard. Eating alone is unacceptable. This is Jonathan. Good evening. No, it's not. He it's Matt. He kayaks and collects beach glass. And he's allergic to shellfish. He prefers blue, but we'll pick up green in a pinch. Rossi, party of two. T-W-O, two. It's me again. Although dressed appropriately, he is not a suitable companion. Really? Heartbreaking. What? A woman trying to eat alone in a restaurant. There's nothing sadder. Hey, how is this uh, Scarlet from the internet? Charlotte, not Scarlet. <laughs> oh, can't keep up with your attempts. Charlotte, of course. They're not attempts, please. So, do you take them all to the library? Not funny. Why don't you take them to the, you uh, know... To where? The art gallery. Your grandson's right. You're old. <laughs> At least it's cheap. I, I read about one father's story who said that uh, there's nothing more beautiful than when your kids are sleeping and you can hear them breathing. Have you tried to hear your kids breathing? They were kids. Melanie's parents used to live with us, and they slept above us, and her father snored so loudly that you couldn't hear anything. Ah, uh, don't make things up. Oh, you always make a joke out of everything.
You have the opportunity to make the right choice. Besides, you want me to help you get out of here, right? I think I've done that. What do you mean? You're a smart boy. You'll figure it out. <laughs>